Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I have triple Louis Vuitton unboxing. As you guys saw, my David Yerman bracelet and ring. I bought this particular Louis Vuitton item the same time, but I did not get a chance to do unboxing until now. Um, the item is one item that I had on my wish list, so I finally could get a chance to check it off. Before that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Biz or B. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment to my channel if you're into luxury. Perhaps this channel is for you. So let's get started with the unboxing. This is going to be the Louis Vuitton Agenda GM in the monogram print. Just to let you guys know, this video is a quick unboxing. I will do separate reviews of each item that's included in this video. I wanted to get the MM agenda, but I felt like the MM agenda was a bit too small. Um, not the actual agenda, but the insert were too narrow and short, so I just didn't feel like it was the right size for me. Um, I know I could have saved a bit more money if I went with the MM, but the GM was the perfect size, and so I went with this one. So um, this agenda has a button opening and closure, as you guys just saw. This is the inside of the Agenda GM. It comes with six ring um, binder and it's made out of gold hardware. I am so excited you guys. I ordered my inserts from Etsy so hopefully it gets here soon because I'm excited to use this agenda. I cannot wait. And here on the left hand side it says made in France of course. And here as you guys see it's the small pocket. You could pretty much put your um, business card or ID card and here on the side there's two uh, pocket compartments that you could put notes or receipt and on the right hand side here it has a small pocket as well that you could put ID card or anything of your choice and also right here one compartment that you could put notes here you could put your pen hopefully it's not gonna scratch up my agenda moving forward you guys unboxing number two you'll be surprised this item was not on my wish list but i knew i wanted a travel bag that i could use um, for travel only i was looking at the neverfull but i am not a tote type of person and the price range was too much so i decided to go with this bag because i thought it was a perfect fit and I also wanted something that had adjustable strap that I could use to carry as a shoulder bag or crossbody when I'm traveling so it's easy access. This is my bag, the Speedy 30B in a Demir Evan print. This is my second Speedy. I have a Speedy 25 already. The Speedy 25 is too small for travel. Um, so I decided to go with the Speedy 30 because it's the perfect size, you guys. In this bag, I could fit my toiletry, my makeup bag, book, small bottle of water, um, my wallet, and anything else that I want to carry with me. It fits a lot of stuff, which was a surprise. This bag was originally was created for travel in 1930s, I want to say, according to the Louis Vuitton website. As far as measurement, the length is going to be 11.8 in inches, the height is going to be 8.3 inches, and the width is going to be 6.7 inches. Like I mentioned, this is the Demir Eben print canvas i prefer canvas you guys uh, for travel i feel like leather would scratch up easily this bag comes with double zipper which i was surprised unlike my speedy 25 which has one zipper and here you guys see me struggling you guys to close and open the zipper it's so stiff i ended up returning to get a new one um, so anyways here this is the adjustable strap that it comes with it has the Louis Vuitton engraving on here I'm so excited you guys that Louis Vuitton decided to do adjustable strap because I am short petite And it's so hard to find something that fits my height that works for me I'm not saying I'm mini me, but I need something that's adjustable This bag has one large opening one flat pocket with a zipper inside and now we're gonna see if the agenda gm is going to fit um see you guys right here let me insert a photo of this agenda gm this right here the opening is crooked and i tried to fix it i ended up also going back to louis vuitton returning this one um and exchanging it for a new one because the opening and closure was off centered so i know in the long run i don't want to have any problems but as you guys can see the agenda gm does fit inside the back perfectly fine and it still have a lot of room for more things to put inside i am very excited i went with this decision i know it was last minute because i was hearing rumors that louis vuitton 
was going to have a price increase so i kind of did impulsive buying i shouldn't but i did anyways I'm not really sure if Louis Vuitton is going to have a price increase anytime soon. They usually have price increase the end of August or sometimes in September. But I ended up going for this bag anyways because I really wanted to travel back. So moving forward to my third unboxing. This is kind of surprising. It actually surprised me. I didn't think I would get this item but I ended up getting it anyways. So let's see what it is together. It's going to be the Louis Vuitton passport cover you guys. Here we go in the monogram print. Be honest, you guys, I feel like Louis Vuitton has the best accessories, toiletry, pouches, any travel bags from all the fashion house. And that's why I decided to go with this passport case. I did not think I would get it, but I ended up getting it anyways. Here it has one large compartment. This is where I will put my passport on the right hand side. And there it has like four credit card slots, one flat pocket on the other one. And there's a small pocket that you could put like your ID card or you could put your business card in that slot. And here it says Louis Vuitton made in France. I know for some people it's a big deal when it's made in France versus US versus Spain versus Italy. For me, I don't really care what it's made of as long as the item is in great condition. Um, I care about more about longevity wise, making sure it's going to be long lasting. And also the third is does it fit the purpose? That's my main concern. Um, this is my triple unboxing you guys. I did not think I was going to get the passport cover but I was deciding to myself what else do I want from Louis Vuitton before the price increases. I know it's going to be crazy this year so we'll wait and see when it's going to happen. Um, but right now with the inflation everything happening I feel like I will slow down in luxury shopping. I won't be shopping as much just to let you guys know. Here I'm doing a comparison between the Speedy 25 on the left hand side and the Speedy 30 i will do a thorough review of both bags and um covering everything i also ordered an insert for my speedy 30 which is coming in the mail this is my triple unboxing guys thank you so much for watching make sure you guys like comment subscribe take care and have a great day